Hi, I'm the Busy Bee Mom. Welcome to my sewing channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing some crafts. I was at a garage sale in a little town in Iowa and I this box was on a table. Musty, dirty. It says hand craft kits and lime HYD hydroxide. I don't know. Handcraft kits piqued my curiosity though. So I peeked inside and opened one of the boxes just enough. This is a, basically a box full of boxes. There's boxes in here. Lots of boxes. And I opened one just enough to see that it was a craft kit. Not a ooh, awesome craft kit, but a, oh, that's so dated craft kit. But I got kind of piqued my curiosity and it said, a dollar on the lid and I was like a dollar each or the whole box she's like take the whole box for a dollar I was like so so I basically bought a whole box full of kind of dated craft kits so in this video series we're gonna unbox them one at a time and I'm gonna try to assemble it and make it so um, I'm gonna do a little separate video for each one this will be the intro for all of them though and um, you get to follow along as I explore these craft kits and try to make something beautiful. Time for box number six. So let's reach in and grab something good. Ah, this one's open. I'm trying to shut the lid. All right, here we go. Box number six. Here we go, box number six. I just pre-pulled the paperwork because sometimes that gives away um, the surprise what we're making. So we have a wood stick. Kind of an interesting curve on this side, but that's a straight angle. It's like there's more of them to that size and two longer ones. We have a piece of plastic with the imprint of what looks like a bunch of fruit. Not how well you can tell. There's great plump and pears and cherries. Yeah, a plastic clump of fruit. Piece of very wrinkled um, tin foil. Ah, very thin wrinkled tin foil. <laughs> Fragile. Um, hanging instructions. I think there's hardware in there. Oh, it's, yeah, it's for hanging. Those little sawtooth things for hanging. Are there nails? Yeah, there's two nails in there. I'm going to leave those in there. Two little tiny nails and one of these. So obviously we're going to be hanging something. A little scrap of sandpaper. Paintbrush without any bristles because something ate all my bristles. And uh, my foil packet that have all my products I need, which of course are going to be completely dried out because they always are and not useful. But what should I have gotten? Black paint. This looks like gold paint. Though it says vapor harmful. I can't quite read what it says, but it does look like it was a gold metallic paint. This is all puffy. White adhesive, so glue. Blue varnish. Yellow varnish. I wonder what colored varnish is, what I could use. Of course, my goal is to not go to the store and buy all this stuff. <laughs> Violet varnish. And black walnut. All right, let's take a look at some of the paperwork. The original paperwork video disappeared, so let's go again. We've got our membership identity card information for the National Handcraft Society. We have got paperwork for sending your film in to get it developed from the old fashioned cameras. And we've got, you can get music. We can get tapes, eight tracks, tapes, records, 
I was looking at it says tapes right there, but it's a picture of records. So you can get records, eight track cartridges, tape cassettes, or reel to reel tapes. I do remember three of those four. I don't remember reel to reel, but never actually used eight tracks, but we did have a car that played eight track tapes. We have beauty products. Ultra Dazzling, $1 makeup offer for all nine Syndra Ultra Dazzling products. Wow. Oh, and there's Pamper Yourself, collection for the bath and a collection for after the bath. Get some nice beauty products. Oh, okay. I like the <laughs> Look at the iron-on transfers. 10 super great iron-on transfers for t-shirts. It was exactly the kind of thing my mother would never let me wear growing up. All right, I'm sure this stuff just smelled lovely and worked awesome. Cheap beauty supplies, a uh, thing for free towels, fun. There's an order form for different, looks like getting ready for Easter if you want to order some Easter crafts. And the order form, the prices. This may be the pictures that go with all that stuff. Pretty sure I don't have any of these kits in my box, so. Yeah, some lovely things. Ooh, we can get a simulated two carat diamond ring. Let's see, what's our price here? So for this big honker, it's $9.95. Yes. Wear any of this luxurious simulated diamond jewelry for 30 days on a money back guarantee. I guess if it turns your hand green, you could send it back. <laughs> so yeah, man-made diamonds. Nice. Alrighty. I don't think, was curb cubic zirconium a thing back then or are they just glass? Oh, this is actually kind of cute. A perky pair, a perfect price. It's a kit with some fabric to make. These little aprons. I like these little round birds. I think they're cute. It came in um, frivolous flock of improbable birds in bright lime, gold, orange, brown, and black. I'm not sure about those colors, but it does sound so 70s. Lime, gold, orange, brown, and black. So, yeah, those are cute. And that's, that's it for our paperwork. All right, let's get started on that project and make something beautiful.
When you have completed your painting, while still wet if you wish, put one half teaspoon of black walnut stain and one eighth teaspoon of gold metal enamel in a disposable foil cup or jar lid. Stir. They do not mix, but are carried together in the brush. Stir with each brush full. Apply a thin coat over the background in the clear plastic areas between the fruits. As the background becomes slightly sticky, use a gentle up and down motion with the brush to give a mottled texture to all of the background outside the fruit cluster. If clear plastic patches appear, add a bit more stain slash gold mixture. Let this thin coat dry overnight or longer if it is still quite sticky. Clean the brush with dishwashing detergent. Mix the same gold stain mixture as before and brush a second coat over the background. Let dry overnight. Dear club friend, picture it glowing, gleaming, glistening. Crystal glow grapes is a wall accent with a jewel toned stained glass look complete with the traditional black leading effect. The fruit arrangement is radiantly colorful and reflected light bounces from many facets of crinkled foil. Achieve the marbleized background with our fun and easy technique. It's a clever craft to know. Then frame it in black walnut finished wood that has a subtle, sophisticated accent band of gold. What a picture! When it comes to crystal glow fruits, one good thing just naturally stems from another. Yield to temptation. A crystal glow pineapple picture doubles the dazzle of your grapes. It's a combination of colorful clusters highlighted with a sparkling pineapple of see-through brilliance. Both crystal glow pictures are listed on your three-star for postage saver ordering. Sincerely, Nancy Lee, Club Secretary. And our project is finished. Our, what do they call these? The crystal glow grapes. Yeah. Mine looks a little different. <clears throat> looks a little different from the picture. But because they didn't have the paint that they used. Um, I think it's about equally as ugly as the picture, though, the finished product. <laughs> so um, I have a lot of trouble, though, because what they sent was... Um, a colored varnish I was supposed to use because I didn't have any colored varnish so I thought oh I've got window cling paint my kids used to do a craft where they used to make their own window cling so I got out this big bag of paint I was like I think there's some window cling paint in here well there isn't it's all like puff paint for t-shirts so I tried using that tried watering it down to see if that would work and it nah, wasn't the best at some point, I had an aha moment, though, and I realized that I had, my husband had this in the basement, and this is the kind of paint that you use for model cars, and there was actually some gold in here, some nice shiny gold, so I was able to get a nice gold around the edges, and I hadn't painted the pears yet, and there was a, a yellow in here, I think they called it amber, so I did the pears with the amber, and they actually... The pears actually turned out see-through enough that you can see the foil underneath so you get that kind of sparkly effect. It's still but ugly, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, um, I think my needed a lot more gold back here than black, but they said to use twice as much black than gold when you mixed it, so I don't know. It's just, it's just hideous. So I'm getting ahead of myself. We've, we've got our scale from one to five. We're going to rate some things. One is being awful. and We have not very good. Okay, really good and fantastic. So we're going to rate this project on a scale from one to five in a few categories. First category is materials. I, they were fine. I mean, they sent everything you needed to complete the project. Um, they sent enough tinfoil, but I misunderstood the instructions. I thought I was supposed to use the tinfoil for something else, so I did. <laughs> and then when I needed it for the background, I didn't have enough, so I just went downstairs and grabbed my tinfoil. So the materials were as described, and they were all there. So unfortunately, this is from 76, I think. 
There's, so all these packets were completely dried out. But yeah, so materials, we're just going to say, okay. You, get, you got what you got. There's uh, nothing fantastic in there, but... Um, makeability, I'm going to say okay. The, the worst thing about the makeability is on the back, when you're supposed to do the black outline, they had you tape it to the template. They had you tape the plastic to this, and then you were supposed to paint all these black lines. Well, because of the light and this under it, you couldn't tell where the plastic went up and went down. <laughs> like, I'd be trying to paint this nice straight line and also I'd hit like a, a valley or a mountain. So it was so hard to paint a straight line. I think honestly it would have been easier to not have this tape to it and just hold it in such a way that you could see the flat spots and paint around and try to get everything, you know. I don't know. So that was makeability. We're just going to say, okay. Um, gluing it together was not strong enough to hold it. I don't know if you noticed, but when I tried to nail this on the back, the frame fell apart because it's just glued together. So nailing that on was too much for it to fell apart. I had to glue it back together again. So, but it was doable. Just not very neatly. Um, attractiveness. <sighs> I'm going to give it an awful. I just think this is ugly. This one is ugly. This one is ugly. It's just, it's just not good. Glowing, gleaming, glistening, crystal glow grapes. Why do you want jewel tone stained glass sparkly cluster of fruit on your wall? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So overall, I'm just going to say this is not a very good project. I did not enjoy making this. It was just, ugh. But it is done. There is one redeeming thing about this craft project, and that's a really good tip, trick, hint, and that's the brown paper trick over the back when you're framing something, that you glue brown paper, and then you get that wet, and it shrink fits. Now mine was a lot tighter and shrunk, before the frame came apart and re-glued it. Um, if I got it wet and shrunk it again, I'm sure it would be a little tighter. It's a little bubbly. But that's actually a really good trick. And it was it was really cool because I had it wet and then I actually took the blow dryer to it because I was in a hurry. And it just, like, all the wrinkles just sh and disappeared. <laughs> so this is a really good way to finish off something if you're framing it. My dad uses this um, technique. He does a lot of buying and selling of antiques. So when he frames old pictures or reframes them or whatever, he does this. And it just seals in the back so nice. I did not do this on a, something I had hanging in my dining room. And I had an ant. I try to keep a clean house, but you know, the ants get in. And this stinking little ant crawled in and crawled around and got stuck and died. So in the middle of my picture in my dining room, there's like a dead ant smashed in there. Because I didn't do, I didn't seal the back. So, and he was being clever. So, anyway, if there's anything you take away from this project, it's this paper backing is a really good, is a really good idea. <laughs> That's it. That, yeah. I would have much rather have made the aprons that were advertised. These are adorable. I want to make these aprons. Yeah, not this. All right. Thanks for watching. Here's hoping the next project is slightly less atrocious. Have a good day. Copyright 1976 Fad of the Month Club, Division of National Handcraft Institute Incorporated, Des Moines, Iowa.